Okay guys, so if you often write and publish blog posts on your website, you are most likely using Google Docs to draft and work with your team, right? Now it's a great tool, don't get me wrong, but here's the thing, having to copy and paste everything over to WordPress is a total pain, right? And it seriously slows you down as well. Now imagine if you could keep all the amazing Google Docs collaboration features like adding inline comments, suggestions, and working together in real time right from within WordPress. Imagine how much faster you'd crank out those blog posts. And faster blog posts means that you save time and as a result, money as well. Well, guess what? You totally can. There's a tool that does all that and even more. It's called Multicollab. And let me tell you, this is a real game changer. So let me show you how this works. Very good. So for this video, we will use the pro version of Multicollab so we can demonstrate all of its features. And once installed, as you can see, you will have this badge here with the golden crown, which says pro version. And here as well, with the confirmation that the pro plan is activated as well. Very good. So once you have Multicollab installed, the first thing you want to do is to create a blog post and then you can invite your teammates to join in with you and work together on the same blog post. So all you have to do is to click on this button here, share, and then you can invite any of your coworkers using simply their email address. So I'll click on this box here and let's invite David as an example. So in this case, we will have John Doe and David, but obviously you can have more than two people working together on the same blog post. So for instance, I could also invite, let's say Sue Curtis and Stephen Doyle as well. But in this case, we will stick to just two people for now. And then from here, you need to assign a role to David. So is David going to be a viewer, a commenter or a co-editor? So what's the difference? Well, a viewer can only view the content, commenter can add comments and a co-editor can literally do anything on your blog post. So if you assign him as a viewer or a commenter, this is what we call a guest collaboration. And with this feature, you can invite guests to collaborate without the need to create a WordPress user account. Now a guest can view or comment on an invited post by clicking on the unique link they received via email. Now, if you assign him as a co-editor, this is basically team collaboration. So someone that's part of your team and have access to the whole blog and can do whatever they want on it. So let's assign David here as a co-editor as an example. And now you can add a personal message as well. So if you take this box here, you can type your message. So for instance, hi Dave, care to join in and help me with this blog post? Thanks. And all you have to do now is to click send. Very good. As you can see, we have a confirmation that the invitation was sent. So now let's have a look at David's mailbox. This is the email he received. As you can see, you are invited to collaborate and then the title of the blog post. And now to access the blog post, all he has to do is click on this button here and he will have access to the blog post without needing any credentials. Very good. So now that we invited David, we can start collaborating on this blog post. So let's go ahead and let me show you the first amazing feature, which is the inline comments. And for this from here, all we have to do is to highlight the section where you want to insert an inline comment. So let's say maybe you find this hook to be a bit too weak. You can highlight the whole section. As you can see, I have a speech bubble here with a plus sign in it, one there and one there. You can click on either of them. So if you click on it, as you can see, I have a small pop-up window that will open up here by the side. And now you can send your message to David himself. So for this, you can use the at sign. So for instance, at David and then select David, and then you can type your message next to it. So for instance, could we make this hook stronger? And just underneath, you can take this box here to assign it to David, in which case he will be responsible for marking it as done. If it's left unchecked, either of you can mark it as done once completed. So let's pause our comment. Now from David's screen, he will see your message. All he has to do is click on it and he will be redirected to the section that requires attention. And then David can make all the necessary changes. So he will replace the first paragraph with something else. So let's do that together as an example here. Okay. And now I can post a reply to this comment here. So for instance, you could have, I've changed it now. Have a look and let me know what you think of this hook and then reply. Very good. And now John Doe can review this and if everything is okay, he can mark this as completed. All he has to do is hover on top, mark as resolved, resolve this thread, yes. And there you go, all the changes have taken place. So when it comes to adding inline comments to your blog post, there are multiple ways to do so. So you can do that by selecting a specific word. So all you have to do is highlight it and then you can add your inline comment. 
You can do so by selecting a whole block or a complete uh, paragraph as well. Again, as you can see, we can add an inline comment for the whole paragraph here. And you can do so for different types of media, like for instance, a video. So if you click on the video, again, I can add an inline comment and some suggestions related to that video here. And I can do the same as well with a picture. So if I click on the picture, again, I can add an inline comment and collaborate on this with my teammates. Another very handy feature is that you can attach a document to your inline comments. So let's scroll down the page a little bit here. So let's say you want to insert an image maybe in between two paragraphs. You could select the title here, add an inline comment, and then type your comment to David. So perhaps something like this, you know, I think we should insert a descriptive image in between those paragraphs to illustrate that point, like this one, for instance, what do you think? Okay, and then you can upload your image. So click on the paperclip here. And from here, you can upload your media file. So this could be an image as a JPEG or PNG or a PDF file. So let's upload an image here as an example. So let's go ahead with this one and then select and then post our comment. Very good. So now from David's screen, he can read your message. He can click on the link here to open the image in a new tab. And then he can take all the appropriate actions and insert that image in between those paragraphs. Very good. So next, let me show you another amazing feature, which is the suggest edit. Now, by default, this feature is not enabled. So you have to go to multi collab, you go to settings and make sure that you enable it first. And now we can suggest edit. So let me show you how this works. So the first type of suggest edit is a formatting edit. So let's say if you wanted to emphasize the word multi collab here, you can highlight it and I'm going to suggest it to be maybe in bold and perhaps italic as well. And as you can see, as I make those changes, those changes are recorded here by the side. And now anyone working along with you on the same blog post can either accept or reject your suggestion. So let's accept it as an example here. Very good. And as you can see, those changes have taken place. Now, let me show you the second type of suggest edit. So let's say when you go through your content here, you notice the word that's not quite right, not exactly the way you want it. So maybe you want to replace organization here with something else. What you can do is highlight that word, press the delete key. Very good. As you can see now, it's crossed off in red. And now next to it, you can type your suggestions. So for instance, instead of organization, we're going to suggest business. Now, anyone coming along can either accept or reject your suggestion. Again, let's accept it as an example here. And there you go. As you can see, those changes have taken place as well. Very good. So now let me show you the most impressive feature that multi collab has to offer, which is the real time editing. And again, with this feature, you need to enable it first before you can use it. So go to multi collab, go to your settings and enable real time editing. And now you'll be able to work with more than one person at the same time on the same document. Let me show you. Very good. So to demonstrate this, we have two split screens. So on the left hand side, we have John Doe. On the right hand side, we have David. So let me show you how this works. So let's say if John Doe starts editing a paragraph here, immediately on David's screen, you can see that John Doe is editing this paragraph. Let's do the same from David's screen. So let's edit maybe this sentence here. There you go. And as you can see, it's the same thing on John Doe's screen. We can see that David is editing this section of our blog post. So just to show you, let me type something. Okay, so start typing here. And as you can see, as I type, we can see everything happening also at the same time on John Doe's screen. And if you go on top, we have two profile images. We have David and John Doe. And then on David's screen, we can see that John Doe and David are working conjointly together at the same time. So you know at any given moment who's working on which section of your blog post. Another amazing feature that Multicollab has to offer is that you have access to all the reports and you can have a quick overview of all the activities taking place on your blog post from two different places. Let me show you directly from your blog post here. So if you click on the multi collab sign, you will find all your activities recorded chronologically from the latest to the oldest. So if you scroll down the page, these are all the changes that we made together during this video, but not just from here. You'll find them as well in your WordPress dashboard under the multi collab tab. As you can see, all your latest activities are recorded here chronologically. As you can see, this is today. 
And on top, you also have your report. So if you click on this, you will find all your blog posts listed up on top of each other. Next to each title, you have the comments. So how many of them are open and result. And also who are the collaborator, who is working on those blog posts at the moment and all their recent activities. So from here alone, you have a quick overview of what's happening on your website. Now let's go to the settings here. And if you scroll down the page, we'll find that feature here, which is the email notification. So if this is enabled, it will notify the super admin for all new comments. So from my mailbox, this is what I will receive. As you can see, new comment, unleash the power of real time editing. And then you have been mentioned in unleash the power of real time editing. And then the comment was resolved after this, unleash the power of real time editing. So if you open this, you have the full detail. And again, you can click any of those links and have direct access to the blog post itself. And also under the settings tabs, you can manage your permissions. So this is broken down by roles. As you can see, you have admin, editor, author, contributor, subscriber, but also guest viewer, commenter, and co-editor. And this is broken down in three different sections. So if the comments, suggestions, and real time editing. So basically here you can tick and untick who you want to allow to do any of those tasks. And if you scroll down the page, obviously Multicollab is also fully multilingual. So as you can see, it's available in English, Hindi, French, German, Bengali, Spanish, and Chinese. And finally, if you scroll back on top of our page, we have integrations. And here you'll be able to link your Slack account directly with Multicollab. So you won't miss out on any notifications. So for this, all you have to do is click on connect. And then if you have multiple accounts, make sure to select the right one. And then after this, scroll down the page and make sure to select the channel on which you want a notification to be published. So let's select this one here and then allow. Very good. As you can see, now our channel is connected. And then let me show you what it looks like. As you can see, all your notifications are recorded here as well. Very good. So now let me emphasize some of the main features and benefits you will get access to once you subscribe to Multicollab. So straight out of the box, it works with your workflow. That means you get email notifications, Slack notifications, custom roles and permissions. It is compatible 100% with the block editor, Gutenberg block editor, and you get advanced reports and activities. Now let's scroll down the page and let's see what are your favorite collaboration features of Google Docs in WordPress. First, you get real-time collaboration, inline comments, suggestion mode, team collaboration, email notifications, guest collaboration, Slack notifications. You can attach a document to your comments, reports and activities, custom permissions, and multilingual. Now, if you want to try and experience all these fantastic features directly into your WordPress website, you can go to our website, multicollab.com and sign up for a free trial. And then you'll get to experience all these fantastic features immediately inside WordPress. Now, if you don't want to wait, you can always try our hands-on demo. All you have to do is to click on this link and then fill out your details and then you can proceed to the demo. Click on this button here and then you'll be redirected to the demo. Excellent. So now you can test all of these features. And as you can see, you have a countdown timer. So this is available to you for 30 minutes.